Here's a quick video guide showing how you can log data on a Peugeot or Citroen engine using an app called FAP on Android. You can get the FAP app from the Amazon App Store. I suggest to get the full version so that you get full login capabilities. So the first step is to connect your ELM327 Bluetooth device to the OBD port and then power on the ignition. So in this example, I am using the Nexus Nextlink, and this has Bluetooth 5. Seems to be a very reliable device, and I've actually started to use this for all the diagnostics in my workshop, instead of powering up the slow Peugeot Planet or Diagbox system, because it offers all the same fault-finding capabilities, and it's just much faster, and the data logging on this app is excellent. So, here I have an ECU on the bench, so you're not going to see any real data. I'm just doing this for a quick example to show you how to log. So if you scroll down to settings, you can ignore that because the ECU is not plugged into an engine. So the first thing you need to do is to set your log frequency. So if you do this, this will start recording, but you can then put it to the lowest frequency possible. You can then stop it recording and go back to the main screen. When we make a log, it just logs everything, which is brilliant, and then it outputs it to a CSV file. So what I suggest is if you want to do a performance log, you get the car in third gear, get the RPM to around 1500 or just below, and then hit this button here, logging, and you'll see it lights up and now we're logging. And what I need you to do is to hold full power all the way through third gear without letting off the accelerator pedal. Um, this acts like a dyno pool and from this I can see lots of useful data and I can check that everything is working as it should. So it's important that you don't let off the accelerator during this log and that you do it on a nice safe road where you're not going to run out of road and it's nice and flat and consistent. So when you're finished, just hit this button again and it will stop recording. And then if you want to send the log, go to manage logs. Now this is where it gets confusing. We have details and we have min max. So the files in min max are of no use, but the files in details are of use. So you see these ones now, you see the names min max and the names. These are completely useless to me. So hit details and then select the log that you just made, share, and then I'm going to send by email. And then if you just send it to remap at HDI tuning, FAP logs from Mr. X, please see logs from third gear, send. And it's as easy as that. If you want to access the fault codes, you sort of tap this area at the top, double tap, and then you can get DTCs again by hitting that. So now you can clear faults and you can see all your faults. As I said, this is an ECU on the bench, so everything is unplugged. You can also see your DPF percentages here which is very useful. Um, if you're planning to keep the DPF in your car, it's a good idea to check the percentage here before you go ahead with tuning. If the DPF is very blocked, say it's over 80%, I would recommend to fit a new one or to do some hard driving and see if you can get the cinder count down.